Welcome, Dr. Mark Gornick. We are so glad that you are here um, as the director of City Seminary and that you have joined us to lecture on Sing for the Joy of the City um, on sacred narrative and how that transforms the lives of youth. And um, my first question is, how do you define joy and flourishing? Thank you, Dr. Farmer. What a uh, privilege it is to have been here today with, with you and with Skip Masbeck and everyone here at the Yale Center for Faith and Culture and for this project on joy and human flourishing. Uh, what a privilege it is for me. Joy, as we've come to understand it, is this lived experience of God's life in our lives. It is healing, it is restoration, it is reconciliation. And as we experience that in our lives, as we experience the spirit of life who is coming into our everyday existence, our everyday challenges, our everyday life that we lead, whether it's on the bus or at school or on the subway or with our families or at work, as we experience the spirit of life, and the spirit of life brings healing and power and newness, then we experience joy. We experience joy. There's so much brokenness in our world right now, especially for young people and adolescents. There are so many, there's so much uh, uh, hatred and divisiveness and bitterness in our society right now. There are so many obstacles to being a young people in the city today. There are obstacles of employment, there are obstacles of racism, there's obstacles of just not being even considered important um, and being in often in classes where we're not known or challenges that we face. Young people face incredible challenges in our cities right now. Mm -hmm. And so joy, the sacred narrative, is that God is present, God is love, God is going to intervene and respond to whatever we need in healing in our life. And as we experience that healing, even if it's just a touch, even if it's just that moment of hope and love and restoration, which then combines to culminate over our lifetime, as we experience that, there is joy. In the book of Acts, it says, there was great joy in the city. There was great mm -hmm. joy in the city. What a profound thing. And that joy came through healing, through the process of the sacred narrative being lived out and expressed. Not only was the word preached, but people were healed and restored. When that happens, there's, there's great joy in the city.